Hey y'all, it's a little bit of a different view. I am coming to you from the living room today. Um, and the reason is I have a surprise. I'm so excited. Um, I decided to, I've, I've had a couple of really good sales lately and um, made a little bit of money and decided to try to reinvest it in my business. Um, anybody who has been with me before probably knows I am um, on and off, I guess, an online reseller. Um, I'm in the Central Virginia area and for about, I don't know, maybe mm, over half a year, I guess, I've been focused mainly on um, cloth selling clothing on Poshmark. So, um, my hands are clean. <laughs> anyway, um, so I've been focused mainly on selling clothing on Poshmark. But um, since we've all been kind of stuck inside and things have changed so much recently, um, I decided to try to diversify a little bit and try some not really new things, um, but try to put some things on eBay and see how it goes. Um, I have sold on eBay before. I've been on eBay for many, many years. Um, never really as a reseller, just as a, you know, fun thing or getting rid of stuff I had around the house kind of thing. Um, so this is a first for me, really, um, in a lot of ways, even though I'm used to eBay and I know how it works and stuff like that. And I've sold there before um, to 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 really uh, invest the money and the time in trying to make money selling on eBay um, rather than just to kind of get rid of stuff around the house or do, you know, a yard sale kind of thing online. Um, so uh, I have a great big box right here next to me, I'll show you in a sec, that uh, came today and it's been Lysol to within an inch of its death and wiped down with bleach wipes and um, I feel completely safe handling the box and the contents. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, but it came today from Bulk. B-U-L-Q. They are a wholesale company where you can buy bulk items um you can get anything from huge truckloads of merchandise to single boxes of merchandise um different categories uh my particular box that i got was one of the um the lower price ones that they have i think all together with shipping i think the box was i want to say 61 dollars and then 30 dollars shipping because their shipping is all Round, I believe um, yeah so um, all in with everything it, it was you know around a hundred a little under a hundred dollars um, I'll have to double check check and make sure they didn't charge me tax I'm not sure if I sent my um, my business license anyway um, so anybody can purchase from them um, but like I said they are bunches of things so um i don't think somebody would just you know unless you wanted like a instant hoarder kit or something i don't think you would really want to do it unless you're interested in reselling but um yeah so they have all different categories they have you know health beauty kids and toys um apparel different things i i don't even know all the categories i can't remember off the top of my head um, but this particular one is general merchandise. It was partially manifested. Um, so the main portion of the box, I don't know what it is. It's just going to be general merchandise and I don't know. Um, but these are uninspected returns, so they could be no good. They could be broken. They could be missing parts. They could be, um, they could be perfectly fine. It's a total mystery and I'm up for it. Um, so in general, you pay less for these sorts of boxes because they are, you know, they don't, they don't have to go through and 
test and try and open and look and make sure seals are intact and stuff like that. So obviously it's less work for the company that's selling it. So it is going to cost you less. Um, so this, like I said, is, is about the lowest price that you're gonna find. Um, and this is my first time ordering one it's my first time ordering from bulk and it is my first time getting any kind of a general merchandise lot um, for resale so yeah totally excited to see what happens let me show you the box this is it it is huge oh my floor is dirty okay we're not gonna look at that no we're not we're not gonna look at the dirty floor okay this this is a result of what my dog does. She had a stuffed animal, so this is some of the stuffing out of it, and this is part of the, uh, like a nose or an eye. She uh, rips them apart and then flings stuffing everywhere. So <laughs> that's why my floor looks like that. Anyway, um, and she's over there too, so so she might she might join us. Um, she probably will get. She's sniffing at the box now. She's she probably will get curious um hmm. okay so let's go i'm cutting her open all right let's see and oh. Ooh, so excited so it weighed almost 50 pounds i think oh nice big box oh my gosh okay i'm gonna show y'all what we see so it truly is uh general merchandise i mean i'm not seeing any sort of rhyme or reason here all right a weird angle <laughs> sorry about that all right let's see well first thing i see is a big skillet um yeah it's you got it looks like it just needs to be washed really it looks great blue diamond enhanced ceramic non-stick looks like a nice skillet uh and it does kind of have a blue tint to it so okay good i'm just gonna pile things up on the couch next to me oh i see the mario thing but i won't i don't know okay oh these are little divided plates there's they're cute they're like little spring um colors these are great for kids my kids are adults now so uh I don't have any particular need of these, but you know, a lot of kids do not want their food touching and they love these little divided plates. So um, let's see if there's a, and I'm not sure where, sometimes you can tell what store sold the items. Um, I'm not sure in this particular case that it's any one specific store. I don't know. I don't recognize yeah i don't recognize it def salve i don't know if that's their tag or not um from bulk um this kind of sticker was on the other one too so i'm gonna have to read um you know read up a little bit and see but anyway they're cute they're pretty colors so that can get sold that looks good this Includes official mushroom sound. A mushroom, Super Mario mushroom light. And that's the top of it. Oh, I hope the tape doesn't take the, um, the paint off. Looks intact. Uh, yeah, I definitely will have to very... Oh, okay. The, the little thing that you tested is gone, so I have to actually open it up but I want to do that very carefully because there is tape and there is paint so got to be very 
careful with that. All right, let's see, what are these balls? Don't let anybody tell you, Lisa don't got balls. Uh, table tennis, so ping pong balls, and the box is a little torn up, but all the, all the balls are there. My dog wants to sniff them. Come on, oh, you wanna play with them. No, you're not playing with these. Okay, <laughs> she, she thinks it's for her. Um, and they might be, you know, if I put them up for sale and they don't sell, I don't know how much they go for. Uh, I can't imagine there's, I don't know, no idea. So another thing is, since this is not my, I don't want to say area of expertise, but my forte, um, I don't know prices on a lot of this stuff. I mean, pots and pans, I kind of know, but I don't know that brand. Um, so I think a lot of this stuff is probably inexpensive little, you know, $5 things, but it adds up, you know. Um, and some of the stuff, like this, um, if it doesn't sell, it's definitely something I can buy back from myself. So, um, yeah, these there might be some of the bags used. I don't know. It doesn't necessarily look like it. It just looks like the box got messed up uh, I don't know but um, you know this might be something that I end up buying back from myself because we make a lot of trash around here so that might be a keeper uh, oh here's a uh, okay not the right season for it but um, skinny so it won't take up much room I certainly can uh, hang on to this until it gets to be time although I heard that um, today out out um, west near the mountains there is a snow advisory so um, you know if, if anybody is watching that and you are out there and you need one of these guys this seems like a real good one so anybody in a warm climate who doesn't know what this is, this is for scraping snow off of your car and brushing it. So that's the scrapey end for snow and ice. And this is for brushing uh, the finer stuff off of your car. And if you don't know what it is, then you're lucky. <laughs> um, so here's some baby something. Uh, are they bibs? Are they washcloths? Oh, they're like little washcloths, I guess. I don't know, but they look, I mean, they're still connected on there. Cloud Island. Um, but they do look a little shop-worn and, uh, dirty. So, I, I guess I could cut them off and wash them and if I can't sell them, they can certainly be donated or used somehow. All right, here is, oh, here's my first health and beauty item. Johnson's No More Tangles Detangling Spray. And I love that they put it in a bag so it, in case it got broken or anything along the way, it wouldn't have leaked all over everything else, but dog's barking at the cat. Don't bark the kitty. Um, yeah, so this looks new. This looks good to sell. Um, I'll weigh it and make sure because I don't know if some of it got used or, you know, I don't know how, if, if you're a reseller and you've done this before, how do you know if something's been used? Like, I don't see any product on the nozzle area, so it doesn't look like it's ever been squirted. Unfortunately, I would like to be able to sniff it and tell well, if I smell it, you know, but um, I don't have a sense of smell. So I can't tell stuff like that. Um, it's true. Uh, many years ago, probably over 10 years ago, I had a bad sinus infection and I literally lost my sense of smell. It never came back after that. Um, I have had uh, CT scans done in my head. I've seen specialists. I've had all kinds of tests done, things shoved 
up my nose, down my throat, every which way you can imagine, and nobody, nobody can get my sense of smell back. So, yeah, I literally have zero sense of smell. Um, I don't know that these go for much money, but ooh, that's a good one. Okay, <laughs> you know you're like an adult when um, these sort of things impress you. This has a really tough, like, scrubby on this end. Okay, I'm impressed by that. Isn't that weird? Okay, I did see this in the picture. So there's a game. Um, it's a little, little beat up, but um, people are selling games like crazy right now. So I will definitely, uh, oh, it can be, a, oh no, part of it, oh. Part of it was taped down, but it just came off easily. Uh, all the instructions are in there, and it looks like all the parts are still sealed in their bags. The cards, there's two packs of cards, and they're still sealed in their wrappers. So it looks like the box is just beat up. Um, so it includes game board, the 104 cards, which I assume, you know, there's 52 in each, um, 50, uh, green chips, blue chips, and red chips. So all of the pieces are here. So this is definitely sellable. I don't know how much this game goes for, especially with a kind of beat up box, but um, you know, inside it's all new. Um, so yay, that's cool. That is exciting. What is this? This looks like some sort of a, I don't want to unfold it because y'all know you never get these things folded back. I want to see what it is, but I don't want to unfold it because I'm afraid I won't be able to fold it back. Oh, it twists open. Okay, so it's like a little hamper thing. Isn't that cool? It, un you like twirl it to open it and then to collapse it back down uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't tell me I can't get it back up. Oh, there it goes. So you just kind of push on it a little bit, and it twists on itself. <gasps> That's so cool. Okay. I love that. That is neat. Oh. Here is a fire truck. Um, I mean, it looks like I don't know if the rest of the box is in there anywhere. Probably not because the sticker's on here, not on a box. But the little fire fireman's in there. And the hose is there. Looks like you, you can wind the little hose up. And it has the little bucket. Looks like it all works. So that's pretty cool. I don't know how we're supposed to... Um, yeah, it's cool. It's cute. Seems pretty well made. I don't know what name brand this is. If it's a name brand. I am not at all sure. Oh, here. Nope, can't tell. It has a B. I don't know, but anyway. Seems like a, a well-made little toy for a young child. Uh, here is a little napkin caddy kind of thing. Um, this particular thing reminds me of something that you would see at Target's Dollar Spot, but it it's not one of their tags, so I still don't know who this is from, but... Um, these things are really handy for, um, you put your little silverware in here and put your napkins in here and you could carry this to the table or if you eat outside and do little picnics and stuff or, you know, have a uh, patio table, these things are really handy. So that is cool. Here's some little stuff. Here's a box of band-aids that's pretty beat up. Uh... Skin Flex, so I don't know if they're in there or not. Um, that's probably something I would keep. I wouldn't 
necessarily want to sell something like that that's been opened just because I don't know if it got wet, if they'll actually seal, if they'll, you know, stick properly and stuff like that. So um, that might be a no-go. We have soft and slow squishies. Squishies paint marker. Huh? Oh, you paint on the little foam things so you can put designs on your little, I guess you make the squishies and then you decorate them or you decorate DIY, decorate your own squishies. I didn't know that was a thing, but you know, evidently it's a thing. Decorate your own squishies. This is a welcome sign that's missing the E. <laughs> so welcome <laughs> the E is gone. Okay, so maybe it's in there somewhere and I can glue it back on and uh, use that. But uh, I don't see it right where that was. So, ooh, that is a nice little wooden spatula. Huh. Maybe it is from Target because that kind of looks like the Target bullseye on there. Although it says made by design, not, not Target on it, but... Um, yeah, very nice little wooden spatula there. Uh, I'm trying to get all the little things first. Um, gardening gloves. These are pretty light. There's a little bit of something on them, but they, they have their, uh, size medium. They have their tag, um, and they have a, looks like a $3 price on here oh no five dollars so here's lucky star enterprise and company inc so does anybody know what these tags are from they kind of remind me of something like dollar general or something like that maybe i don't know i don't i'm not like a, a regular shopper there's at those kind of stores so i don't know but uh yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Um, oh, Bosch for the, um, cars. It's a um, wiper blade. So, no, it's not used. That is new. 24-inch uh, Evolution wiper blade. It is open. Let's, but it doesn't have the... Oh, no. Maybe it was used. Maybe they put it on or tried to put it on and then, because usually this little piece isn't on there or there's an extension. I don't know. But anyway, the um, the blade itself is not used. There's not a speck of dirt on it. So I guess it is sellable. I'm not sure. I will have to find out. Either that or see if it'll fit my car or somebody I know's car. Okay. Sorry about going off camera here, guys. I'm trying to dig down in there and, and do the, like I said, do the little stuff first. So they kept these together in a little baggie, which is cool. These are little, are they glue sticks? Or are they chopsticks? Oh, they're little chopsticks. They're different flavors. Um, but I don't think they have seals on them, so I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, they're obviously not used. You can tell by looking at them, but they don't have seals, so that's not a sale, saleable item, unfortunately, but I use the heck out of chapsticks, so yeah. <laughs> if you, oh, I hope I didn't get that on me. So this, this is a little pot that you paint, but one of the paints opened, it's all dry. Oh, okay, it's all dry. So evidently that probably happened in this store. Um, that's cute though. That would be a cute little project for some kids. Uh, just maybe put a different paint with it or whatever. Um, so I guess that's probably sellable. It's disclosed that one of the paints is no good. I shouldn't have just touched my face, should I? Do I need to go drink bleach? Um, anyway. Yeah, I think that that might actually sell right now. Just 
considering the time that it is. Um, let me get some more littles. This is so fun. I love this. Is this still a thing? I don't know because my kids are old. Um, here's a little Fortnite um, prize bag thingy. Um, I don't know anything about Fortnite. I don't know who this dude is. Uh, I don't know anything about this. Bandolier. Series 1. Squeeze me surprise. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that sticker belongs on there because it doesn't really look like it, but maybe it does. I don't know anything about those. Um, here's some little bamboo skewers. Uh, yeah, these are... I don't... I don't know if they're all that sellable, but um, they're probably something I could use if they're not sellable. All right, here's some little stuff. Here's a little little guy, little fish guy. Let's see, is it a particular name of something? Um, Pink Fong, I guess is the brand. Um, is that... Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. And here is, I guess, a dish towel. I think. There's so many things. It's so fun. Oh, here's a little bath. Um, poof, poof. All right, this is in a bag, so is it supposed to stay? No, it's not. I'm opening it. Good, clean, love, bio, fresh, rest. Oh, I hope this isn't used. Uh, the box is definitely gotten wet, so whatever it is, okay, it leaked. Um, Okay, well, this is a pH balanced moisturizing vaginal gel. So yeah, I don't think leaky vaginal gel is something that um, I'm going to be selling on eBay. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's crazy. All right. Uh here is a three pack of sharpies it was a four pack maybe the other one's still in there somewhere chisel tip for wide marks i'm gonna set this over here and hope that i find the other one this is relief topical roll-ons muscle stress and sinus and they have scratch and sniff on them which i can't do um spa room brand Oh, there is essential oil roll-on. So let's open it. Oh, no, it's got stickers. Okay, well, that's a good thing. If it's got the stickers on the side, then maybe it's never been. Oh, no, the bottom part can open. Oh, well, the stickers are on the top, but the bottom can open. But I don't think it'll slide out from there. So, you know, maybe that's a good sign that it's not been uh, used. I don't know. I'll have to uh, investigatory it a little bit more. But I can tell just from kind of looking down in there, oh no, it's missing one of the bottles, unless it fell out somewhere. So you can look down in there, that bottle that should be on this side, which is the, oh, the sinus one, the one that I would actually want um, is missing. So stress and muscle are in there though. So maybe I can just open it up and, uh, sell those two separately i don't know don't know look at that look at this teeny little light bright oh even my kids had a little light bright when they were little that's so cute it's so little i want to open it and play with it look at the little itty bitty um pegs that's fun i want to do it I gotta sell it. I wanna try to get my money back. <sighs> All right, let's see. Oh, 
we got another wiper blade. This one is a 19 inch one and it's the same brand and everything. And this one also looks unused. It's the edge is super clean, no wear, no tears, nothing like that. So yeah, it looks like, I wonder if they, so, somebody took them out in the store and maybe they are missing the little clip or, or whatever. Every time I've ever replaced my wiper blades, I just use, like I just clip them on. I've never had to use the, I know they usually come with a little like adapter part. I have never actually had to use it. Oh, excuse me, Yubi five pack markers. Now I know they sell this particular brand at Target. I've seen it there. So this, I don't know, but some of the stuff definitely does not look like Target. So it might be just mixed from different stores. I don't know. Um, yeah, so these, uh, these little markers are cute. What is this little guy? Here's a ball. I don't know if it's, it just says moon ball. Y'all know what a moon ball is, anyone? Wa Waboba, Waboba moon ball. Sorry, y'all, I have tremor. I have essential tremor, so um, I can't hold it still for you. I would like to be able to, but I cannot. W-A-B-O-B-A, -B -B moon ball. I don't know if that's a special bouncy ball or what. Uh, I'm glad somebody over there didn't see that because she'd be asking for it. Oh, I'm trying to move the the bigger the bigger ticket items out of the way so I can do the smaller stuff first. Okay, so here's here's L'Oreal. Um, it's open though, so let me see if I can kind of squeeze it out and check. So you can tell, ladies, y'all know how this goes. You can tell if, oh no, this is super tight and I'm not even gonna open it all the way because you can tell once they've been open, you can usually see that it has been, but I am not 100% that this has been unused. So I don't think that I'm comfortable with trying to sell it. Um, I might just need to buy that back for myself. Oh, this unfortunately is broken. So it's one of those little light box thingies. Um, not only is it broken, but it doesn't have the little uh, words that you use for it. So this is going to be the first absolutely 100%. I know that that's going in the, oh no, the vaginal gel. Yeah, that's going in the trash too. So, <laughs> That is not going to be used on anything around here. Just so you know. All right. Uh, oh, here's some more little things. Oh, this is like a oh air wig. So it doesn't have the little smelly thing that you attach to it. But um, y'all know you can tell if these have been used because they usually get residue around there. So looks clean. I'm, I'm sure it's usable. Don't know if it's worth very much. Um, just a strap to something. Maybe we'll find out what it goes to. Maybe we won't. 10 over 10. Like attracts light. Simple non-toxic solvent formula draws out the compatible polished solvents in freshly painted nails to the surface, helping them evaporate. Oh, okay, it's, so this is a nail polish. Um, it's over top of the the word, and I can't think of the word, the little stickers over top of the word. The, th the thing that makes your nail polish dry faster. Um, it says cruelty-free and vegan. You know, I like that. Oh, here it is, nail dryer plus vitamin E. And I mean, it's still liquidy in there, so I think this one's a good one. And this kind of looks like it might be an expensive product. I don't know, as you can tell, I don't do my nails and I don't get them done, so. 
I've had them done before, but um, yeah, that seems like it's a, a nice quality product there. Let's see. Uh-oh. Uh oh, L'Oreal Excellence Cream Developer Cream. This goes with a hair dye, but I don't see the box for the hair dye, so I, I think that might be a loner by itself. Uh, this looks like one of those things that goes to a coffee maker. Oh, yeah, DeLonghi. DeLonghi, DeLonghi. So... I don't see a coffee maker in there, so I don't know, but we'll, we'll keep an eye out. So that's kind of weird that I'm seeing. Oh, wait, is this the rest of the hair? No, this is a small bottle of 100% pure coconut oil, liquid coconut oil. Um, it doesn't go quite to the top as far as you would think it would, so I, it may have been used, but... I'll look and see. Oh, here's another one of those um, Airwick um, scent diffuser plug-in things. A pack of shoelaces, 45 inch shoelaces. Those would work for making masks. A UB magnetic notepad. And put it on your fridge and write your grocery list. Oh, here's something fabric. Is it a bed sheet or a pillowcase? They look like it looks like a maybe for a body pillow. Looks like a big fat pillowcase. Oh, curtain panels, natural white panels. Is it one or two? Looks like just one. So a single curtain panel, I guess. But this is like a really thick like blackout panel. Unless there's two folded up in there. But I think it's just one curtain panel. And it's like a slightly off white. Like an eggshell ish white. Oh. Here is, oh, this is that Batiste thing, dry shampoo, um, and it doesn't have a lid, so dry shampoo, divine dark, so I guess that's dry shampoo for dark hair, but no lid to it, and... Vaseline Gold Dust for Shimmering Precious Lips. It's like a little, it looks like a little shoe polish can, but it's uh, lip stuff. Let's see if it's been opened or used. Um, yeah, it looks like it definitely has been opened. That's the little seal thing that goes around it. So, oh, it looks like somebody just swatched it but that means it's been used. So that's no go. Um, an iPhone case for iPhone XR. That's a pretty cool case. It looks like a tortoise shell. It's kind of the harder plastic. Um, doesn't look like anything's wrong with that. So, And that's a current phone that's out there. So that one actually ought to sell. I've got some... Um, phone cases that I've been trying to sell, but they're for like an older phone, so they're not going anywhere. All right, more little stuff. Makeup mist and set, but that box has definitely been open. Oh, that's the e.l.f. one. Um, it's got the lid on it and everything, but it's, it's definitely been opened. Um, two little Hatchimal things. I don't know anything about this toy, but this is sealed all the way around it, so that can be sold. That has not been opened. This has sidewalk chalk. 
missing one of the little eggs. And again, this really looks like the dollar spot, the way they have the thing. And, you know, it might be. Um, Easter egg sidewalk chalk. But some kids might still want to play with that. <laughs> Not my kids. They're too old. Oh, hold on. Y'all are going to see an unpleasant side of me. But I got to reach down in here. You gotta reach down in there and get to everything. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Rimmel Wonder something eyeliner. Okay, that's weird. It's a two-ended eyeliner. There's a like a white or maybe it's a pinkish. Looks more like white and a and a black. Wonder Ombre holographic eyeliner. I don't know. Um, actually, this looks sellable. That's not been open, so yay. Yay. Oh, here's some more cookware. So, doesn't look like that goes with that. But this is made by design. And again, that looks like Target. I, th I do think this is Target. Um, so what kind of pot? Oh, so this this is one of those lids that has little holes so that you can drain like pasta or whatever without having to get a different thing. But it's got there. It's all taped up, so I'm not going to untape it right now. But it has a little like mixing bowl inside of it. So maybe they just put that in in there to you know for transportation. I don't know. Oh. We have a digital glass scale. Is that, what are those W's? Is that Weight Watchers? No, this is Conair. Okay, so that's what was by Conair. Um, yeah, digital scale. High visibility blue bl backlight LCD scale. Tempered safety glass. Three AAA batteries. Blah, 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 blah. So... We'll have to double check and see. Oh, this isn't sealed. Let's see if this has been, I just wanna see if it's been very obviously opened or used. Oh no, it's still got its like wrapper around the pieces and everything. So this uh, definitely can be sold as a, I, I guess open box maybe, I don't know. How would anybody list something that has, like obviously the box is a little beat up but it's still new inside. I mean, it may have been removed for somebody to look at it, but they didn't unwrap it, obviously. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, this, well, this is a Tom's toothpaste, anti-plaque whitening fluoride free toothpaste. Let's see if it has a seal, no. No, there's no seal, but you can tell it's not been squeezed or used. You can see the toothpaste down in there, and it's never been past that point. Um, but still, since there's no seal, it's not something that I could uh, make money off of. But we can use it. Uh, another, uh, no, it's not a, is it a dish towel that, hangs up or I don't know maybe that's just a string from a uh, packaging or that they used to hang it up because this is tied with a string I think these are, I think this is a dish towel Let's see what the edge looks like yeah I think it's a dish towel all right we're down to a few more things we have a little portable um, Igloo brand lunch box cooler e thing 12 can cooler bag max cold. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get that, but okay, let's see. Definitely never used. This is still got the plastic on it or the little um, 
tie and everything. Uh, the zippers, the zipper works. All the zips are there. Oh, okay. You go all the way through. This is to like hang on a um something. So, okay, that's sellable, lightweight. Probably wouldn't ship for too awful much. Okay, down to two more things. I don't know if I, if I sold all the things that are sellable, and I never did find the E for for the welcome. So, yeah, we're down. The the, the box is empty. So that is a um, trash pile, unfortunately. So three things that are definite trash piles are the that one little light box thing, the welcome without the E, and the um, vaginal gel stuff. Definitely those are going in the trash. Um, as far as things that were missing or broken, this was missing one. This there's nothing else to get oh it's even you look how little there is in there unless it's one of those ones that uh the other bottle hat is filled to here and you pour the two together maybe i don't know but that's no good um the toothpaste the um, vaseline that's been opened the mascara that was opened um these little chapsticks that don't have seals, uh, the band-aids, and the trash bags, those big garbage bags. So those are things that probably are not going to be sellable. Um, might like donate these for the kids in the neighborhood to play with. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so two more things this is the farberware thing this is a two quart covered saucepan let's see if it's in there and if it has oh yeah it's completely still wrapped in everything so sweet i'm not going to take it out because i might be able to get it back in but um yeah it's it's there yay 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 love that and last but not least finishing touch flawless removes hair instantly and pain free is it a shaver it's a shaver it's a shaver flawless legs um i don't know how to tell if it's been used i mean i don't see any hairs on it i mean if i you know, you know, if you use a razor, you see the hairs on it, but somebody could have washed it really well. I don't know. Does it, I mean, would it make a difference? Well, yeah, I guess it would, but I mean, it doesn't look like it's been out of the box. The box just looks damaged. This, the little seals are still intact there, there. Uh, that one is mostly intact. You can see it's bubbled up a little bit, but around the edges, it's still intact. So, oh yeah, and on the back too, it's got two little seals there that are still intact. So yeah, I don't think it's been used. It's just like a little bit of a beat up box. I feel comfortable selling that. I, I, think, I think that is definitely gonna be sellable. Just, you know, a damaged box. And, um, you know, same with same with this box damage, but the items new. Um, so I don't know how much things go for. Like I said, all in, I paid um, just a little under a hundred bucks for this box. Um, yeah, I mean, this. I don't know. I know I've seen them in stores, but I don't know the particular brand. If it, you know, if if Conair um is is money or you know decent money i know it's not like a high end but uh you know i'll guess anywhere between 10 and 20 on that um 
Barberware, some of their stuff is good, but I don't know if this is a like a basic lower end or what. Um, so classic series, maybe it's the lower end. I'm not sure, but I mean a pan like this, I'm gonna guess maybe 20 bucks. I don't know. This thing looks like one of those as seen on TV. So maybe 15 bucks ish. I don't know. And then there's a whole bunch of like, a whole bunch of little stuff. I mean, there's the light bright, the markers, the squishy pens, the two um, wiper blades. I love this. I'm hoping that this goes for not enough money to list so that I can keep it because I love this. It feels good. If I have this thing against wooden utensils because I don't like the, the way they feel. Um, but this is very smooth. It's very well made. I love this. Um, yeah, this particular pan, this is, um, y'all can't feel it, but this is very heavy. This is a really nice um, pot. Really nice pot. Uh, yeah, I'm, um, I'm thinking I probably don't have $100 worth of stuff here, but... It definitely was fun, and I definitely have some things that I will be um, buying back from myself. Um, maybe I'll find out that some of these pots or pans are worth more than that. I don't really think so, but um, I definitely would try again, maybe with a like a higher end box. Um, you know, maybe the little things will add up. We'll see. I don't know much about the, you know, the games and the, the little toys, especially right now. They might um, sell nicely. Um, obviously, you're not going to ask crazy money for them just because people are desperate to get things like that. That's, that's a jerk move. Don't do that. Um, but people are looking for stuff like that um, to keep kids occupied. So that's... Um, you know, possibility that they can easily sell. Anyway, so yeah, that's my experience. Um, overall, you know, like I said, I don't think I'm necessarily going to make my money back, but um, I'm not disappointed. I'm, um, I definitely had fun going through it and seeing what was in there, and I'm glad y'all came along with me to do that. Uh, we'll see uh, in future future videos i'll let you know if i sell any of these things what they go for um feel free to check out my ebay store it's um really just getting started again i hadn't used it in a while or only used it sporadically so there was really nothing in there um before maybe a week ago or so um so yeah it's pretty bare but um i'll try to start Putting these things on there um like i said i don't know a lot about a lot of these things so i am gonna have to look uh research first to, to determine how much they're worth and what i need to ask for but um okay i need a long drink of water and i need my phone back so i can start looking these things up so i will see everybody later be safe be careful stay home and wash your hands I'm going to go do that right now.